Hello everyone, I'm Vikram P. Maduri here. I'm a software architect and in this uh, session we are going to discuss about what is machine learning and what does it, it do for in our life. So machine learning as it goes with the definition, uh, machine learning is a subset of uh, artificial intelligence in the field of computer sciences that often uses statistical techniques to give computers the ability to learn with data without being explicitly programmed. So this is something which we need to understand very clearly that it gives the, the machine the ability to learn from data, from the past data. So the future decisions of the machine are going to be influenced by the past data. So it's going to analyze the past data. The machine is going to analyze the past data and you're going to give it, it it's going to give you the results in the future. So that's what actually the machine learning is all for. So now machine learning learn from experience. So uh, we as individuals, human beings, we learn from the experience and we are going to teach the software or machines to learn from the data, not from the experience, from the data. So we are going to collect the data and we are going to, uh, you know, the machine uh, is enabled to analyze the data and then learn from it and follow the instructions in the, in the future. So where exactly is the application of uh, machine learning everywhere, wherever any, any uh, technology or any kind of, uh, uh, any kind of a process we, we, we might, we can use machine learning. For example, we have image and speech, speech recognition. So if you, if you are just telling to Siri in, in your iPhone, uh, Hey Siri, oh, I want to find out the best coffee shop in, in the, in the, in the town. So you, you are actually giving the instructions to the, to Siri in, in audio and then it's it's responding it to you in in audio or in the text as well so that is voice recognition medical diagnosis like uh, you know uh, google has recently uh, ad, uh, announced the advancement uh, introduction of a particular software in which we are going to just uh, scan uh, the, the software is going to scan our retina and going to tell us what exactly is our health condition what would be our risk of uh, getting uh, any any kind of uh, uh, health issues for example, a, a particular retina can be scanned and uh, the, the, that particular person can be told that he, he might have 70% of risk of uh, getting a heart, a heart stroke. So something like that. So those kind of things are can be used in machine medical diagnosis. So what exactly Google is doing is it's, it's feeding the machine with the all the different types of retinas and what would be their medical condition for what particular retina uh, uh, stat, retina retina status so with this we are going to understand and analyze the and uh, analyze the medical condition of a particular person so statistical arbitrage learning associations classifications predictions extraction and regression are also there in various different uh, uh, sectors in which we, uh, we are making use of machine learning to make the future better so uh, as uh, as uh, I'll, be, I'll be discussing about artificial intelligence in another session so uh, in, under the artificial intelligence we have the machine learning and under the machine learning we have the deep learning so uh, deep learning you can think of deep learning as a part of machine learning and machine learning is a part of artificial intelligence so when it comes to till 1980s we were all uh, um, uh, you know uh, we we knew about artificial intelligence but whereas uh, after 80s we also have some machine learning being introduced and now you have deep learning actually the deep learning and analyzes the analyzes just the complex data and uh, and uh, comes comes with a, a particular decision the machines come with a decision so the artificial intelligence we had it from till 1970s and 1980s we had the machine learning so artificial intelligence is the engineering of making intelligent machines and programs and uh, in the machine learning we have the ability to learn without being explicitly programmed so the machine is going to learn from the data so deep learning is learning based on deep neural networks so when, when there is a complex data you, you, you are going to solve that complex data break that complex data using the neural network now the artificial intelligence deep learning machine learning are very closely associated with each other and these these will be the changing the world uh, forever in the future so healthcare and uh, life sciences using custom frameworks cave and uh, tensor flow or molecular dynamics pattern recognitions and drug interactions with this you can change the way the healthcare is taking care of people across the world so financial services government manufacturing retail you energy transportation travel and hospitality every sector is going to be influenced by artificial intelligence in the future 
So uh, if at all, if we look at uh, in detail about the financial services like insurance using tens, uh, tens of flow of, of a claim adjustment and risk analysis. So using uh, fraud can be uh, avoided using tens and flow tens of flow for risk evaluation and uh, fraud detection. So in this way, we can we can make use of the entire uh, entire AI ML and DL for uh, uh, getting the business into a better condition. So we have the artificial intelligence. Under the artificial intelligence, we have the machine learning. Under the machine learning, we have the deep learning. So artificial intelligence is a study of devices that perceive their environment and uh, define a course of action that will maximize its chance of achieving a given goal. And machine learning is a subset of artificial intelligence in which machines learn how to complete a certain task without being explicitly programmed to do so. And um, so previously we always had to program the machine according to our program programming uh, the machine used to um, give the response but here machine is going to calculate its response based on the previous data that's what uh, machine learning does and deep learning is a subset of machine learning in which the tasks are broken down and distributed into machine learning algorithms and are organized in in uh, consecutive uh, layers each layer builds upon the output from the previous layer. Together, the layers constitute an artificial neural uh, network that mimics the distributed approach to problem solving uh, carried out of by the neurons in human brain. So it's very much similar to neurons in human brain. So we have machine learning applications. We have it on. In, uh, we can have the machine learning applications in retail, in travel, healthcare, finance, and media, and many other sectors as well. So we have. Machine learning in education is already been applied. So the future applications, which already we are using right now, are uh, into the machine learning in education, machine learning in search engine, machine learning in digital marketing, and machine learning in healthcare are already been, you know, uh, in use right now. So machine learning examples: the self-driving driving, driving uh, uh, Google car is uh, based on machine learning, web search results, fraud detection. Credit, credit scoring, recognition, uh, pattern recognition, and text-based sentiment, uh, sentiment analysis, and prediction of success and failures, and online recommendation for offers on big e-commerce sites, Amazon, Netflix, etc., and social listening applications as well. So, if at all, if you are wondering how this, uh, or, you know, uh, Facebook is recognizing uh, images of your friends, like the moment you upload a, a, a image, it, it's going to uh, suggest you a couple of uh, names, where it's going to detect the name of the person who is there in your uh, photo, right? So that's something which is based on machine learning, uh, wherein the, 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 the photo image is detected and it's going to predict the name of the person who is in the photo. So... So what's on your mind? So most of us uh, may think that artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep learning, data science will take away our, our job, software jobs or any any jobs that we have in, uh, in, in, in various sectors. Across all the industries, artificial intelligence is going to prevail for, for sure in the future. And how fast and how, how, how sooner it depends on the industry. So, but truth is that even though all these things are going to prevail in the future it's not going to take away your jobs or maybe we can say if you might not be doing the same job that you're doing today you have to do something else so uh, yes we need to if at all if you don't want to you, you, you should not be out of the industry then what you have to do is you have to reinvent yourself relearn new concepts scientifically in the artificial intelligence direction so no matter in which profession we are in and irrespective of our position we need to be aware of all these terms and we should be updated with the latest technologies because uh, as we all know the way we communicated 50 years or 100 years back was through through letters but today we, we all text each other through smartphones so uh, the way we do the do any process will change forever in the artificial intelligence but we are still going to do something so uh, our human human activities will not change but the way we do them will be changing in the in the in the uh, in the, uh, in, in the industries across uh, wherever we have the artificial intelligence being introduced so this is something which is a uh, basic of uh, machine learning and um, you know thanks for watching this video and you can catch me on the next video and if at all if you are interested to learn artificial intelligence machine learning 
uh, uh, and, and um, uh, data science. If at all, if you are interested for this, then you can contact us on info at the .com. We also have our website website address here on down in the slide, and you can also contact us through our our, our uh, email ID info at the .com. Thanks. Have a good day. I will see you in the next video.